How's it going everybody? Thanks for checking out the vid. I've been gifted a thermometer from Chef's Temp. Now it's primarily for food, for food safety, but you can also use it to measure the temperature of the air, of water, anything like that. And it shows in Fahrenheit there for you. And I think it auto re rotates. Yeah, there we go. So let's take this out, test it out on some meat, and see how it does. Been set the Chef's Temp Final Touch X10. Now, this is something I do worry about when I'm cooking, like chicken or something like that. Making sure it's done. Because it might look done. But then you eat it, and you wake up dead. So I've got some pork steaks to do up tonight. So it's got a little guide there. It says all the temperatures they should be to be safe. So it says here, pork steaks, 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Well done, 150 Fahrenheit. Turns on when you pull this out. And it spins all the way around. So you could use it for different angles, or if you're left-handed or right-handed. It's just measuring the sky there, which is 58 degrees Fahrenheit here at the moment. Right, he's doing his steak on there now. So we want to try and get 145 Fahrenheit. Turn over just to uh, Forty-five. Done. In fact, oh, done this. Right, let's give these a try now. I know they won't be done yet, but let's see what it says. One hundred. So if you at that now, that's definite food poisoning. It? So as you saw, it performs very well. It's highly accurate. Um, would I have thought of taking a food safety thermometer camping before? I don't think I would have, to be honest. But having tested it on those pork chops, finding out they would have been unsafe for consumption, does make me think again. And one thing I do not like taking is chicken, because I'm always worried, is it going to be all right to cook? So, considering I do always take a thermometer on here, it could replace that one. And I could just use this for the air temperature, like cooking, if I'm taking meat, and also, like I said, to check the water temperature out as well, if you want to go for a swim. So a couple more facts on this. It's 125 grams, so it's not too bad. It's got two AAA batteries already included, which are apparently good for 3,000 hours, I think. Yeah, something stupid like that. It's just going to last and last. It's super fast, so it reacts within one second. So you can just check your food fast, or you can check an ice bath fast, whatever you need it for. Actually, what you could do, if you want to check the temperature outside your tent, you could just put the probe outside and keep this bit inside so it's keeping dry. So let me know what you think of that. I think it's a really handy thing. It seems really accurate. It's not too heavy. It's not too bulky, as you can see. They've given me a discount code you can use to give you a little percentage off, which is this. And the link is below if you fancy buying yourself one of these. Thanks for watching the vid. Catch you next time. Ta-da.